Blah 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 blah. Yes. Hello all. Thank you for coming. Some uh, familiar old faces, some new faces, and then yeah, some of them I've already met before a couple of times. Uh, we have one more person joining. Arindam. Uh, yeah. So we just started. You're right on time. Um, welcome to the general assembly. As uh, I guess I've sent an email quite elaborately a couple of weeks ago about what is the aim of the of the meeting basically, and then what we do, and uh, basically what will be the outcome of the of the meeting, what should be, and then and then yeah, uh, after we decide uh, like some members who will be joining the new Yuva committee, then. Uh, we meet in the evening today, if possible, for some of you, uh, for dinner. Time. Anyways, um, I'll just have a, I just have a short presentation. Um, um, okay, everyone can see the screen, right? No problem. No problem. Oh, so means is there is no problem. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Continue. Okay, welcome to the General Assembly. Uh, for people who have been part of UR, they mostly know all, all this information, but people who are new, uh, it's your first time. So, so UR is, in a, is a non-profit organization. It's also non-political, non-religious. It was founded back like in 2010. And then, yeah, before it was non-official association. And then as and when like more Indians started to join EPFL and UNIL, uh, we decided to make association out of it, which is officially affiliated by the university. So now it's officially aff affiliated. Um, and then we have members, not only Indians, but all, like Indian origin who have been here for a whole life. And then also people who are non-Indians would like to become a part of culturally part of India, uh, Indian culture. So they also become a part of UA. Uh, and then help us with uh, organizing a lot of events. So U.S. stands for Youth United Via Action, um, but it don't, does not necessarily mean that U.I. is like young, it's kind of translates to young Indians, and it's like a student association. And uh, it's open for all the students, not only within the boundary of Lausanne or satellites, uh, universities of uh, this thing, of uh, so EPFL. We also have people from different uh, uh, places all over the Switzerland who kind of contribute in some way or the other, people who have already passed and they started their own startups or working here. And so, uh, yeah, basically they also contribute. And yeah, so th there is no membership fees or anything like that. It's a, it's a student community, so it's funded by the university, so it's free. These are some quick uh, flashback to the number of events that we did, I guess last couple of years, I would say, not just 2020. Uh, with, with a wide variety of uh, like in-person events to uh, all like cultural online events uh, and some like yoga workshops and yes yeah, stuff like that but i this year you you will find this information everywhere so it's fine and things that we started last year was uh, due to this lockdown we could not do a lot of physical events so we did we translated that into a lot of uh, online events and then we did a lot of uh, stuff that we were looking for things that will be helpful and then uh, Aish is also here we started with the uh, online web series and then we finished that with that uh, online web series and then this is one of the you can check check it out on the on the YouTube or all on our UA website as well um, there's another web series that we are it is still ongoing and this is in collaboration with uh, uh, Rudu Chai it's uh, also an association in UNIL, and then we are collaborating with them and then doing this uh, Indian Sanskrit and culture, cultural event online, which is also taken care of by uh, Shreyas, who's uh, one of the members here. And then, then comes the, all the members of the UA committee from all over the place, all over India, as you can already see. And then, yeah, it's 
culturally diverse and then we, we don't have anything like hierarchy or anything among us it's, it's all equal so let me introduce you uh, members of the committee from last year the first one the handsome guy is me i was the president uh, for last year and the second handsome guy is vice president arvind and third handsome guy is uh, ayush and uh, and cultural manager is shreyas so all are handsome by the way you don't need to say every single time and akshay is our logistics i was our logistics manager and vishwa i don't know if he's still there in the um, in he was supposed to join but he hasn't yet so he was taking care of help desk um, and then richa was there was there and then she was taking care of the website and uh, other things as well uh, nihar is also the, here siddharth is not here rahul is not here but then they were the cup committee members and then they were taking off uh, like helping with lot of stuff like editing uh, posters and stuff nihar also took to care of like online quiz couple of times rahul was also there with helping with editing and stuff so we have general core committee members who don't do, they don't have a specific role but they, they help they are a part of committee and then they help as and when required so they can they are more uh, flexible and adaptable so basically this is how i think you guys also joined more or less it's, a, it's right from the website how to join you apply for the membership form and then membership and then you fill this form and then yeah you uh, you get a invitation for assembly which is going on right now and then we kind of either vote or we kind of decide based on the um, based on our own uh, interest what posts what person would like to have so the general structure is something like this we have a president vice president and then we have cultural managing uh, person or head he can he could have sub members as well we have head of communications and for logistics we have logistics manager and then pretty much the same thing that i just uh, uh, showed it to you guys but the good thing is that is is that it's we have the flexibility to adapt so it does not necessarily mean that we have to follow this thing we can also increase the number of posts based on the requirement based on the for example uh, last year it was mostly everything was online so in person events and the things that we need for in person and things not is not was wasn't re really required but we adapted our our team such that even if the person is for example a help desk manager he was helping with helping some uh, head of the communication or cultural manager like that so it's all flexible it isn't is it's not by the book um and one thing i haven't mentioned here is uh, the last time i mean the president was also the treasurer but we also have a place for treasurer who keeps uh, track of all the money uh, and then based on how the treasury is doing we try to organize our events like that so we also have a position for uh, as a treasurer so yeah welcome to uva and uh, these are some of the events that uh, are going to take place in coming future so we will have meet and greet with all the indians at uh, at the epfl or also around uh maybe a barbecue event or something at the lake followed by we will have a cricket tournament on 15th of august this will be in collaboration with uh, indian association lausanne and there will be a team from uh, from epfl and couple of teams from outside we basically uh yeah it's like a one day event and we do like this cricket tournament uh, also near lausanne so not that far from lausanne um and there will be an indoor carrom championship as well and uh, basically the funding for you are we received this year is for these two events so these two events will be happening in the, will will happen in couple of months coming couple of months and then we will have a holi which we couldn't have last time because of the restrictions and hopefully the things go very well then we will have this uh, event also in lausanne and in the late fall we will have uh, uwali it's also like a diwali celebration and so it's a huge event so that's one of the that is the biggest event of uh, ui indians has been a biggest event since since years and obviously we will have couple of miscellaneous uh, online seminars like there somebody posted like about job prospects or something like that after your masters or phd so we are still uh, ongoing we are talking talks with the people who might be a uh, hosts and all uh, so yeah 
these things will also be there. And uh, for general purpose, I have to declare how much money we have. We have around 2,238 to be very precise for the year 2021, 2022. And we have to restrict our all the events and around this 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 uh, this fund and then there will be new funding application for the for the next year i guess uh, this was it so um, yeah i don't know if i went very fast if you guys have any questions please uh, yeah shoot and welcome the all other members who i couldn't see during the presentation so we feel free to ask questions and then um, yeah we will uh, and it's, it's a very Informal setting. Don't 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 be shy. Yeah, Just I have a, a quick question. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, so the question is, uh, how big is the community? I mean, we talked about the core members. We are yeah. eight nine position, but how? What is the actual crowd? I mean, so you mean for the core community, or you mean no, all no, the no. all the members? I mean, how big is the Indian community, for example? Oh, so I would say it's, it's it's around 70, 80, as far as I know. Uh, not the exact figure, but it's increasing. Like I've seen over the last four years, and uh, the number of people coming from India is increasing. It's uh, it's, that's good. That means we have more, uh, yeah, uh, more diversity going around and more population of Indians, and also we can do do, do a lot of a lot of uh, like more into like you know inclusive kind of events. So yeah, but the whole community, I think. No, I just wanted to add something. I guess we really don't know how many Indians are there because we never tracked. We never track the amount of people who are there in EPFL or UNIL because yeah. we always have been like, you come to the event, you take part, you meet people. So in that way, we really don't know. Yeah. But that's that's the basic answer if you want to know. I mean, now. I just uh, was curious about the average number of participation yeah. in events like Holy Divali. Yeah. They are huge. That's huge. And not That's only huge. for these events, you have all, all people. But, but isn't it possible to track down? I mean, I know privacy related issues can come up, but still. I mean, we kind of have a number, but it's, it's, we shouldn't disclose that. And then that's a kind of a kind. So we had this, have this number because last time we, during Corona, we had some, uh, like we had a, this online Google form so mm. that if one, if anyone hands, uh, wants any help, they could contact among each other to the committee and like that. So that that way we have a list of members. But you know, the people also come and go over time and then it's always plus minus. So it's more or less around more than 50, less than 100 kind of uh, number. Okay. For, for Diwali, we had like two years back when we had the in-person Diwali. That time we used to have the list because we asked them for payment and things. So there is a list. And then it, it goes easily beyond 120 that for that particular uh, occasion. I think it was 160. The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. End of the figure. Around 150, it was there. Yeah. I was wondering how the funds work, like how, yeah, the, how that system works because I mean, okay, 2,200 is an okay amount, but it's curious to know like who, who do you apply, who do you get money from, do you get embassy support yeah so the the basic uh, application goes to the daf association so i think it's also many other associations who ask for the money to them it's like it's basically federation of association at epfl and then what you do is you, uh, i think it's end of the year you have to fill like all the funding forms that they send and then you have to apply for an for an event and ask for the money like you for example you the secret and then you want to organize this right and then you say okay what i need this money for blah 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 and then you have to show what all things you have to buy all the all the steps of where you would like to spend money and basically the whole budget and that does not necessarily mean that you will get that that amount they they might uh, very rarely they give more but they might always happens that they give less than what you ask for and the last year all the events were cancelled I should uh, also say this because uh, because in-person events were not happening. So due to Corona, they canceled all the events except for the online events. And then the, the type of money that they gave was also naturally less because you don't need money for what if you're not organizing anything. So I think we, we were the one who got a lot of money except I have friends in many different associations. They got something like 
less than 500 for uh, which is nothing so that that was but in the coming the all the events are allowed now in person so you will get some point so generally we get around 3500 that's the num number or it can also go to 5000 it has been there in the past that we have something like 5 6000 and end of the year we couldn't spend a lot so the next year you get less if you couldn't spend your money so that can also happen so. but but then like what were the issues that you faced this entire year and like uh, I'm, I'm asking like an interview questions but <laughs> what could you like uh, do to like you know because once you have done something after a while you realize oh i could have done this better you know and in a very different approach manner so what would be few examples for this years that you would suggest something if you had so i would say this try to do a lot of in person events this time try to do because i mean you, you cannot be like uh, all physical events and no online it cannot be there will always be hybrid now from now everything will be mm -hmm. kind of hybrid but the, try to increase the ratio of in person events that will i mean human interaction is always good right so, yeah. and uh, as a new potential member we would be very much interested in knowing what are your thoughts about it, what type of events that you want to organize. So you yeah. can also share some of your thoughts. Exactly. Can we, can we like coming to Ayush's comment, like can we share that now or like uh, yeah, go for it. later? I mean, yeah, one thought, like one thought which uh, like I had or like the, not just me, like many of us like who are based in the satellite campuses, like not in Lausanne, like uh, one common thing is that like since, especially over the last one year, since we don't go that often to Lausanne. So it's like, we have like our own small community of, you know, like six, seven Indians in Sion or like few Indians in like in Geneva, or, like we are distributed in that sense. So uh, like, I, I was wondering if like, if there is like uh, within an official umbrella, if you could organize, you know, like meet and greet events with satellite campuses itself, because we sometimes, you know, like it does happen that we feel a bit left out. I mean, officially, I, I mean, I know, like, I mean, even I've been, I've been participating in many of the UI events last two years, so it's there, but, uh, but this feels still uh, like when we discuss amongst ourselves here, we, we, we do feel that, yeah, we are not, we probably don't know much of the Indian community who are there in Lausanne or in the other places. So like, uh, and then, and then what happens is then again, in, in, in the due course of a PhD and postdoc, uh, we feel like, okay, we'll not go or it, it doesn't happen that we end up going. So if there's an official, a meet and greet event with uh, satellite campuses, like all satellite campuses, I'm just including, uh, then, then I think it would be, I mean, I, I feel it would be contribute to a better integration. That's like, I thought of one thing. Yeah, events which are suitable for satellite events, satellite campus. Exactly. Yeah, makes sense. Also adding to what just Saradeep said, because I've been part of a sports association in Netherlands before as also a board mm -hmm. member. And back then, like we, I had to handle 29 different sports associations. So what we did was, um, as you just said, Saradeep, that, you know, we go with other satellite members, but along with that, we integrate perhaps Unish or Norshatel or Zurich must be having also an Indian association. So in that sense, we meet and greet. So we know the Indians out there, but mm -hmm. also within Lausanne, we need to know the, you know, the non-Indians out there. So like, you know, they get to mm -hmm. know our culture and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So I think getting to know maybe the Chinese association or you American, there, I don't know if there is any, but you know, we collaborate, like we have, I mean, Netherlands was quite a, party type thing like every Wednesday they used to mix in with other association and they drink uh, eat together and then they go out in the city and we don't have to do something like that but you know we can mm -hmm. always have eat we can have some games and in yep. that way we we just get to know other people just like yep. ESN does so I think yep. yeah and that's very much needed at least in today's world so yep. I mean that's an idea that I had and then of course the embassy of India yeah, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say that what you guys are saying is is what we want, already wanted to do last year. Like when we started the committee, this is what we wanted to do. But then okay. COVID did not allow us to do anything. Yeah. So yeah. so it will that be up to sense. the new guys who comes up who yeah. take up the mantle because as Saurabhdi was saying, right? So this so what happens in majority of the UI is this that 
people join their first year of PhDs or first year of masters, over time they get into their second years and then the responsibility rises up and then you can't put so much effort mm-hmm. into the committee and then it just mm-hmm. pays away. So yeah. it will be yeah. it will be for the new members to also take more initiatives and take it forward. Yeah. So that so that's that's one of the thing which has to happen and and it's quite nice to hear what you guys are saying. Yeah. Yeah. So only in fact to in, in, in fact to add to it actually to yeah. be honest last year in this way was actually quite good because since we we had online events so many of us who were in satellite campuses we could actually participate uh, through it even uh, more you know like uh, like because since since everything is happening done digitally or we could just go there once a day I, i remember like for the independence day i think i just went there one day and mukesh who came and shot the video so things like this were about actually good last year so you guys actually did a good job last year to be honest yeah so we what we achieved last year was to just to spread the name of you and then these associations and even embassy now we know us now we like yeah. we're just a chat away from them so that's good the new people now because then you can take it forward so also yeah. i have one suggestion that not only that we can meet in luzon but in also satellite campuses we can organize meet and greet session where all the people including luzon or other satellite campus can come together and you know just yeah, meet at different, different locations I maybe in sion or like new shuttle or something like that so yeah yeah simple hike or anything like a group activity is quite good anyways we are I doing i think everyone, everyone likes, likes so why not eating, eating. Sorry, sorry 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 no go for I it think, i think also everyone likes eating indian food like because they go to restaurants here and it's like 20 francs for dish which i've never had because i don't trust it you know i mean our our taste is very different to the restaurants here so i think like this is i think the best way to open anything is like you know you have like chalo aaj hum catering karne wale you know i i think it's i like dinners because that's always you get to know other people on based on a dinner so, yeah. So yeah, I mean, uh, Harshita is here. Um, which one is here? Yeah, I think Arindam was also. He did join, right? And for some reason, he left. Arindam was there, but I don't see him. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I mean, uh, I would also like to know more about the new people. You know, Saradi, by more or less, I know, but many other my. I some of them might not know Divyanshu uh, I have met him Prithvi I haven't met you yet so yeah please give us like a short introduction like what what do you do PFL and yeah just uh, something about yourself who will start yeah, so Radeep can you start then yeah we can just go Okay, so hi everyone. I am Shorodip Majumdar. I am a PhD student in EPFL, uh, ba- based in Sion. I am in a department of chemistry and chemical engineering. So I am just beginning my third year of PhD, and so over the last two years, I have participated in many, like I tried to participate in many events of Yuva, uh, Yuva Li, Independence Day, and all, and I really enjoyed my participation there. And it was good to see over the last one year to our, our our association the bonds of us of our association getting stronger with other associations also like with the Indian Embassy in Bern and others and all these other um, associations. So um, yeah, and, and uh, therefore I, I would like to help more in this context to uh, for our association to get stronger, bigger. And yeah, this is about me. Beyond outside work, I love. for music uh, and uh, like i'm interested in music and dance and i also love public speaking a lot so yeah this is all about me and okay i, I forgot to add i am from kolkata yeah. okay. thanks mm. dinesh can you uh... yeah, yeah yeah sure so uh, hello everyone my name is uh, divyanshu i am a phd student at uh, uh, so i am a joint uh, uh, candidate between unil and epsl uh i have just started my phd i came uh, here last month itself so i'm kind of the uh so still kind of understanding what uh, everything is all about how the system works everything the city uh, uh, uh i come from lucknow uh, uttar pradesh i speak hindi and english 
uh and yeah so so that's and uh, i really uh, so i'm here in this meeting because i i see this as an opportunity to you know be a part of the community and and understand uh, the indian uh, diaspora here so thank you uh prithvi yeah hello everyone uh okay my name is prithvi kharban i'm half dutch half indian actually i don't know why it's not here and um so well, i grew up in netherlands then i grew up in gujarat so i know i i saw arvind is also from baroda so that's nice you know and um then i came back to netherlands four years ago to do my bachelor's in law right now i'm doing masters here at unil doing sports law so no epf for me um and the reason why i came here like to participate in uva was like you know when you were presenting the ppt like doing holy uh you valley and all and that that just lifts your spirit up so i want that you know i'm here one year and in that we want to contribute as well to you know the many indians that have been sat home and have not felt like back home so why not in the rest of the world as well so so yeah my plan is like to organize as many events like you know garba is a super easy event you don't need any money for it you just need a garden basically a park and yeah so why not garba and all the things that you suggested um my experience in this i've already been part of a sports association in netherlands uh, my handle back then was the communication and sponsorship pr so i had to handle 29 sports association here i want to do a bit more you know i feel because public speaking and as a law law lawyer uh, i'm good with the words i'm good with networking and with people so that's the formal life informal is um yes i'm into music and sports a lot i play almost every kind of sports i do hiking bouldering football um, it's nice music it's also good to listen to music and uh, yeah i try to do sketching as well so yeah that's about me and uh, yeah i mean it's better to talk over dinner like you can't this i mean i know indians with indians is like this is i can't do it it's when you're informal with indians then that social bonding becomes next level and that's what i feel towards you guys and also to the people here where i live with as well you know you can't have such kind of restrictions so yeah thank you for having me good good thanks uh, maybe we will introduce you like real quick so i am mukesh i am a phd student i come from uh, mumbai also some uh, nanita like from india uh, i'm doing uh, yeah so i'm here for like since 2018 it's my fourth year and uh, yeah from 2018 2019 and then 2020 three years i have been a part of uva now it's time to be in advani position and uh, hand over the powers to the new guys so yeah that's me maybe someone else can uh, introduce uh, we can go in the order or you want to do randomly okay uh, so hi guys my name is arvin i am third year P okay i officially started my third year of phd like a week back uh, i am at uni uh, i am phd student uh, in quantitative biology in university of lausanne uh, i come okay so i come from very different places in india my official hometown is in kerala i know malayalam but my mother tongue is tamil but i have lived in gujarat so i also know gujarati so so basically i have i have been an hybrid person from that point of view and and that's it that's more about me and it will be it is nice for nice to see new people around over here and we can get, interact more in the further events thanks arvin who's next <clears throat> Yeah, maybe I'll speak. Hello, my name is Nihar. I have been in Switzerland for four years now, and I come from Gujarat. And I'm a PhD student here in mathematics. Uh, I'm finishing my second year soon. Thanks. Who's next? Uh, Vishwa Shreyas. Yeah, I can go next. So, 
I'm Vishwa. I'm pursuing my second year of master's in material science at EPFL. I'm from Mumbai, but I'm Gujarati, so I know Gujarati, Marathi, a little bit of Marathi, not completely, and English, French and German, not at all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I've been associated with you for the past one and a half years. Um, earlier, I was the anchor in Uali if you were there at that time and then as a help desk member for the last one year and it's quite good working with Mukesh and everyone get to learn new things about local stuff in Switzerland as well as well as be connected to the Indian community so yeah it's good and looking forward to connect with this new people who've joined this year thanks next uh, please yeah so hello all i'm shreyas zogrekar i'm from uh, pune maharashtra and uh, i have been in switzerland uh, since 2018 i did my masters here and also continued uh, for my phd so it's been just four months since i started my phd but uh, uh, since the time of my masters i have been associated with uh, yuva so uh, when Vishwa was anchoring you, Ali, that time I was being a treasurer and collecting money from the people. <laughs> and uh, in the next year, uh, in the in the current committee, I also worked for cultural uh, events. Uh, and so now I want to be also like in the same position as Mukesh to watch a bit and try to stabilize my PhD. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> then the next. Thanks. Hello, everyone. I'm Richa. I will start my PhD in September at EPFL. I was a master student here. Uh, I still am till Monday. So, yeah. Uh, I'm from Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. Thanks. Ayush, uh, can you hear us? Because he's traveling. Yes, yeah. yes, I can. Uh, maybe I can introduce myself a bit later because I am uh, changing my connection now. So I'm in Lausanne now. So oh, nice. Yeah. So Ayush also briefly is also a PhD student in Paul Scherer Institute. He joined a year before. So. He's also been a uh, head of uh, communications uh, in, in UA. Just, just to, you guys know. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I guess something else is going on in the chat. If you want to tip somewhere, you get hair colored contact. Okay, yeah. no business uh, propositions. Okay, so I guess uh, so. Here's the thing, I, maybe I can just uh, quickly show you the structure again. Just give me a minute. Because now uh, I guess we have to decide the team. And yeah, just so that that's the structure. Sorry. Yeah, uh, can, you can see the structure, right? Yeah. Basically, yeah. So basically we need people for all these positions and it doesn't have to be like, uh, okay, so for president and vice president treasurer, we might have to decide today itself, but rest of them, we can still temporarily have a person there. But if you would like to like, you know, shuffle within, within the, uh, within this committee, it's, it's fine. It's doable because the final uh, thing that I have to submit to the, like the official paper that I need to get signed and submit is the kind of first of July. So until then we can do all these restructuring. But I guess today we decide upon the first three president, vice president, treasurer, and then more or less, and then, yeah. And general members we can take and then, yeah. Also kind of based on what you would like, you can just give the proposition and we can just yeah, decide. So yeah, let's, let's start with the, <clears throat> yeah, so we, we, the, the, the best thing is like you just, you guys say what we would like to, you know, be where you would fit much better. Then we can more or less decide because uh, 
I guess all of you who are there, we all can be a part of you for now. It's a this this like like you know hundred people putting vote and then yeah we won by one. It's not it's not like that. So just just go for it. Just uh, like just tell us that where you would fit the best. I would also share the screen again, just if you want to see. So yeah, who's going first? Especially the new members. Also, I would suggest that if you have some doubts about any position, like what they exactly work about, you can ask and then we can let you know uh, what all do we do in our own uh, post, for example. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, I'm a little curious about uh, the logistic uh, manager and the help desk manager. Can you mm -hmm. uh, someone elaborate on these? So, the, so both of them are here. The logistics manager is uh, Akshay is here. Maybe he will explain to you. And then the help desk manager is Vishwa. So you guys can explain to him how was the last last year and basically just shortly if he has any questions, go for it. Maybe Akshay can start. Can you hear me? Yeah. So, yeah, sorry, what, what, what am I supposed to... So just explain uh, to him that what, what basically what is the work of logistics manager. Oh, okay. Like maybe a couple of yeah. examples. In it. Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, logistics manager, uh, you have a lot of, uh, let's say, some inventory. We have, uh, now we'll have different... Uh, sports equipment, for example, and there is some, you know, we have some items for organizing events like UALI, Independence Day and all. So you'll be taking care of uh, that. Mm -hmm. So last year, because we did not have so many in-person events, uh, there was not much, but uh, in the future now we have like um, carom boards, then we have cricket equipment and all. So, uh, and we were, like there was a proposal, so the next committee will uh, probably take it forward of having inventory and then people can basically uh, give in their Cami Pro or something like that. Okay. So they will take the equipment or carom for like use. So the details are still, let's say we'll need to figure it out, but the person will be responsible for those things as well. Okay. So, so, so all the equipments and everything are under your supervision or so let's say control we have lockers mm -hmm. like the key and then whenever required we just we, yeah take help of a couple of ur members and then whenever we require we just move those things there take it back so do you also handle the purchase part or so the purchase part is done by treasurer as well as president as well as whatever the other section members okay. need it for cultural or logistics yes so it's okay. that, so the purchase is always like pp but in general, whatever purchase is made, it is done in consensus with uh, all the members. So we discuss within the team and uh, decide what we should purchase and uh, uh, if we should purchase it. But the responsibility for like signing the documents lies with these people mentioned by Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what would be... Uh, sorry, yeah. Also, this time, if the UL is happening in person, then there is a lot of decoration stuff that we purchase, uh, which is usually an uh, expense for every year. So um, that, that could add up this time. Uh, and about the uh, help desk. Uh, help desk. Yeah. So I was in charge of the help desk. And again, because it was not, there were not many in-person events, so mostly I am taking care of people having doubts regarding EPFL after they have secured admission. So they have these different types of onboarding doubts. Now, we, because of um, Ayush and all other members, we have this UA series online. So that solves most of the questions, but still people have their questions before coming to EPFL and after coming to EPFL also regarding bank accounts or something. So I myself am not a pro in it, but in consultation with all UVA members, I try to respond to their queries as soon as possible, as well as help them with their general doubts. Okay. 
So that's more of an interesting. Okay. I, I was curious about knowing about a bit of the head of communication. I think it was Ayush, right, for last year. Yeah. Uh, but but, but I, I was just curious to know more about the... Uh, so from what I understand from the head of communication, for example, whenever uh, an official message comes from you, be it through Twitter or other social media, um, you are responsible for handling it. But I just wanted to know more about a bit in detail, like how do you decide the content or is it like the entire team decides you, you are tweeting or how, how do you organize it? I just... Okay. Yeah. So if I can quickly answer that. So say, for example, the, uh, the content for it is always uh, prepared in consultation with the responsible person. So say, for mm -hmm. example, with the cultural series, uh, Shreya was always uh, in loop for like de developing the content, the posters and everything. Same goes okay. for the... Uh, my journey to Switzerland series. So uh, this was there. But since I was the one who was the, like uh, in a way responsible for that, so being the mm -hmm. head of the communication for the previous year, I did that. But whatever the uh, PR related stuff or uh, whatever uh, is going out to the public, it is always done in consultation with people. So we work like a team. So okay, it, uh, okay. Being the head of communication does not mean that it's solely your responsibility. It's okay. just yeah. that, okay, uh, anyone can come to you. And if you are busy with your work or mm -hmm. if, uh, mm -hmm. something else, we are always there to help each other because uh, for Facebook, for example, almost everyone has the credentials. So uh, anyone can post if needed. Okay. Uh, and uh, same similar thing for Twitter as well. Uh, quite a lot of us have the access. So, okay. and uh, it's not that uh, only these people will have the control. No. So, okay. That's okay. 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 Thanks. Mukesh, you are on. Yeah. So, basically, once you are a member, and then we will give you the admin rights and credentials for all the Facebook pages, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram. So, yeah. Sorry for that. Yep. Yeah, that's. Uh, I wanted to mention about the, the back to the logistic thing. The thing that we going to start this year was this UA EPFL gym thana kind of thing because we have cricket uh, components with us like bat and ball and everything. Two carom boards. I guess we are getting the third carom board. It's like a donation from one of the uh, one of our friends. So we will have all these things in the logistics section now. If anyone wants to use it. It doesn't make sense to keep it, you know, there itself. If anyone wants to use it, just, yeah, we just need some info about CamPro or whatever, and then you can rent it. It's not even renting. It's, I guess it's, it will be free. It's, it's up to you. Do you want to keep it like a small money or, or not? It's up to you. But the idea is that, like, say you have a party or something at your place, a few people coming to your place and you want something, you know, to play around and you expose them to some Indian games or something like that. Just take this for a weekend or so, or for a week, and then you return back. So that will be kind of a, from from you. Are. Yeah. Any more questions? As a president and also the vice president, what would you, your succeeders want to have? Like, you know, what do you want to see in your um, in the following footsteps? basically uh, well that we have already uh, cleared it during the last year from the previous last year so I guess most of the things we already lifted up a quite 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 a lot actually it's kind of a leap and what I would like I, mean, I can say my opinion so what I, I would like to so that I, what I have observed is like we Indians or in general people, are kind of a little shy in the beginning. This is an icebreaker. So you need to be more inclusive. You have to bring more people in. At the same time, you don't also have to like very, you know, pushing. You have to be give them comfort because everyone at EPFL or Union are busy. Everyone is busy. And then you have to find that sweet spot when everyone has the time to meet. 
if all for the events that we have to organize we have to be like you know very smart about that and also there are many people in the satellite campuses like saradeep is there ayush is there they all because there is another extra level of filter that how do you bring them also together so that's 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 always been a challenge and it will be a challenge in future also but more or less the yeah the new committee has to be smart enough to you know to deal with that third thing uh, so, so this is the second third thing is uh, how to be more inclusive to non indians as well so usually what happens is uh, okay now we more people know us so they kind of you know come to you to your events and stuff like that but uh, in the past it has been like that people didn't even know that there was an association of indians you know unless there was a big event so that's a big thing so pr has to be very strong you have to be like impregnate it into everything only then you people will know and then you know that it will spread so pr needs to be much more stronger now you have to be more aggressive uh is that up to us to choose them like because what i've seen is only there are only three people who are trying to fit in a role for all these positions do you get my question or no what what, what three people so i mean right now like what i've seen is only divyanshu me and saradeep have okay. like stood up so okay there are three position but the rest uh, is it like from your year that they're going to fill it in or do we choose them or so what we do is which we 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 see what, what all members we have right now because many people who were so there was something like 10 15 people who applied for different posts for some reason they they, they could not join but uh, i would so after we decide all these things i would still ask them if they would still like to be a part of you or right and then if they agree then they are also a part and then we reshuffle with them and then you can yeah that's what i'm asking like what what post you would like to have so that you you fit in better but after a week or so if you think like okay this is not good maybe i can work there better it's fine you can still reshuffle so reshuffling is always possible so the the only fixative that we have to be is, is like president vice president and treasurer because these without these positions probably the general elections or general assembly will not kind of work so we have to you know uh, have the three structure but within ui it doesn't matter you you, you will have a testimonial from all the past members a president vice president logistics and everything and coach even general everyone is same so don't worry about that yeah any more questions doubts okay so uh, well then comes the tough part here comes the tough part yeah go <laughs> ahead bukesh <clears throat> okay good to see you bye <laughs> <laughs> well mm. Okay, so how do we do it, uh, Arvind? Should we? Uh, okay, let's, okay. Let's let yeah. let's 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 be very open. Yeah. Uh, like so, one thing is for sure that the president has to be from EPFL. As Mukesh is leaving, we need to have a new president. Yeah. Uh, I would have easily happily taken up that position, but I can't because I'm from UNIT. Last year also, this was the case, and Mukesh had to be basically made a scapegoat and made to be. there but yeah. i was still around so it it made sense so we need to find an epfl person to hand over the president and the rest post can be taken care of and it and there is no post as such even the president is also just for the name sake exactly. so that the person is there as an official document and the the association keeps on going so i will basically ask from the epfl the people who are from the epfl Who are who will be willing to take up that position, the new members and the old members? Yeah. If there are anyone, please let us know. Just just feel free to say. It's not an issue. I'll go vice president. I'm at you, Neil. So I can't. That's fine. Maybe senior members can start. Uh, just. Talk about uh, if you would like to take that position, and by senior members I mean people who are 
not leaving in the exact committee right now yeah will not be leaving yeah so i i i assume that mukesh is will be there but he won't be like official uh, yeah in that much amount of time in um, lozana at such and yeah, and who else i guess i'm also around for like four five months probably so yeah, so I'll be there like a member helping yeah. out yeah so that leaves richa ayush shreyas saurabhdeep that's it because nihar is also about to complete so oh nihar has just finished yeah yeah i totally forgot about that he just finished yeah <laughs> no but basically i'll just say straight so shreyas uh, all the senior members who were there in the committee last year or who will be continuing is shreyas is a uh, nihar is also vishwa here uh, um, i am i am only registered till the next february so not for the whole yeah year. okay so not not for the complete term yeah. i see then that, that leaves us with richa and ayush so four so you guys yeah you guys have so we we are filtered boil down to four four people now maybe shreyas you can start what do you think about uh, taking up president presidency Mm, not for me the presidency because i still have to figure out my phd and in the lab it's a huge responsibility being it a small group yeah. so i can continue the cultural position if there is no one else because then if you need uh, people who are in the art already and then then it would be nice and we have some people who we were contacting before for our program so so i'll just write down the names and okay. then yeah so that more or less we are progressing further okay so um nihar um yeah i am very busy with my phd so <laughs> i'll <laughs> probably stick to being general core committee yeah i mean if if not presidency then you can also say which one right so or if you want to be a general committee member it's also fine just say what you are feel what you feel like and then we'll see i would say for the if it is going to be in person uali then i would need a help of another volunteer because it's two things that we have also artists and we also have to organize the hall and everything of course people will be there around but it's better to have another person for help yeah so basically we can put nihar in general then and then yeah based on the requirement we can yeah, take some help this ayush yes uh, so like we already discussed that since i'm not physically based at epfl uh, it would be really unfair on my part to accept the presidency because uh, i expect the president to be based in lausanne or somewhere nearby so that at least in the initial days when the handover is there or any uh, things like that is there uh, the president takes care of it and now that since i expect things to open up and in person events to be more frequent uh, it would be nice if the president can be available for meeting the other associations and other stakeholders in person in and around lausanne so for that reason uh, it would be unfair on my part to say yes to this position otherwise i would have left for it well if, yeah i mean if not that then this can also say which one other 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 position that you would like to where you see yourself i mean i can uh, def- uh, i would love to continue the uh, communications part mm-hmm. uh, but uh, i am open to other positions as well depending on the interest of our new members yeah so head of the communications and other or, or just this like i said uh, i can also be part of the general committee if someone else from the newer members want to take up this position okay so i am flexible on that part okay reach up 
you are already Vicharika. already being lobbied you are already being lobbied in the chat so you can't speak up something going on in the chat or yeah yeah there is there is a good about the stuff going on in the chat really just a second yes madam how oh. I, i mean officially i won't really be a, a student of epfl for a month uh, like entire like half of july and entire august i won't be a student uh, since i start my phd only in september also it like i'll be just starting my phd so i don't know if i'll have time i can take like i can like if ayush becomes the president i can be here like his point person to you know meet someone or you know pick up the letters or anything that that he needs so that that should be fine so this uh, from masters of phd is, is completely fine it's not a problem with you <laughs> i can take care of that <laughs> yeah i was going to say that it's just a just a, a documentation thing which we can handle for sure <laughs> yeah so it's i mean it's up to yeah ayush and you then decide so can mukesh uh, explain what are the time commitments of the president how much mm-hmm. and then nehar can take it actually <laughs> i support nehar <laughs> no no i am I so am what what time commitment you need is uh, maybe once a month you just uh, meet up online or in person for general meeting and just have a coffee and then if there is a, an event coming up discuss that right the second time commitment is the when the event is there maybe a day ago based on the nearby as a likha so yeah so basically based on the event you just organ, you start to organize maybe a day before for example cricket let's say it's on 15th august 14th august i talk to the logistic manager and we get, you know you know get all the stuff we check everything is there 15 august we go organize the event there come back that's it so for a day event you need something like this and mostly we try to keep the event during the weekend so that you, nothing uh, you know the de- weekday is not wasted like nothing going out from your from your official time third thing is pr managers so yeah so if there is an event you want to advertise it right on twitter or whatever social media so the pr manager one one person will be taking care of website like last time uh, richa was taking care of the content of the website is was made by me or someone else there was someone who is making like poster or something or we also had some general member who made posters for us right and then we just post it and this just uh, maybe an hour of posting but and one thing is if you are editing then it it takes like one or two hours at least if you want to edit a video or something like that but still all these things are we can specials you, it doesn't have to be that you have to do during a week day right and once in a while if you get invitation from uh, for example i don't know mbc or something which we cannot control they are organizing event during a week day you can always say no but if you cannot go you can always ask someone else to go whoever is free during that and also they kind of keep evening ish so yeah more or less so i don't see like anything impregnating your work thing only thing it takes is like maybe after work or weekend because you have to give some time right so that's the thing did that answer your question nihal uh, yeah 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 so yeah so nihal And then we also have Saurabh the boy is also from EPF. We did not ask him if he is interested. Yes. I think for me also, I think the same reason as Ayush it applies since I'm not. I would have, I would have wanted to, but since I'm based in Sion, I think that again somehow becomes a short handicap in that sense because uh, I believe we are at least in this year when most events are opening up, you need to be physically present. So yeah, I would have, I would. and if not that i would love to i mean i love communications in general so i would love to go for the communication part and guys yeah, yeah cool cool okay okay now just we are just writing the outline so it's, it's not we can still discuss it so for yeah for the president should i write down the name yeah just go the ahead. name is nehar <laughs> Richa and Ayush, one of them has to take forward. Yeah. I, 
Ayush can take it and I can be his point person here. <coughs> I mean, you both are Agarwal, so it's fine for me. <laughs> different the spelling. spelling is different. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. I remember the statement coming last time. <laughs> well, for the vice president. See, the popular know. vote is for yeah. Nihar right now on the chat, and I think yes. respecting it's democracy. Not we should... at all. It's a manufactured <laughs> vote. Whatever. No. You live in a world of you know no, social but, media. Uh, no, but you know, Richa, uh, it would. Uh, be very nice if uh, being the only female member of our group, you lead us. You know? No, no, there was one Harshita and she left because I don't know why. <laughs> I was very excited that you know, now, we have now, another. Now that she's not here, this is your chance. You have to save us. <laughs> you know, you are the lord and savior in this. Yeah, I think uh, this thing. is exactly about gender representation. Yes, and <laughs> No, no, no. It's not just about that. Uh, the thing is that you have been here for uh, quite some time and uh, you have uh, worked really hard. Especially the whole uh, revamp of our website was uh, done by you. And uh, being the only female uh, uh, member, core member of our group from the last year, it would really be fair for you to like uh, take up this position. And anyway, like we already mentioned it quite some time, uh, these positions are mainly uh, just for the representation. Other than that, everyone is equal. Like we have seen in the last year, like Mukesh was the president, but uh, I can say uh, if we look at the overall number of times uh, spent, Mukesh out of his own interest was there uh, for everyone. And uh, people filled in different positions as and when it was required and our collaborative events with the uh, Ruth De La Shai, uh, and uh, even with the movie screenings and stuff like that. So we do need someone who is here in person so that the meetings can take place. So it would really be fair that either you or Nihar take it and uh, if I talk personally, then I would be more inclined towards voting for you if there is a vote, because uh, then you should uh, take it up more because you are the only female representative of uh, our committee. Also, you, you have been also a part of Beach Foundation. So you are also in uh, another prominent group at EPFL. It's already a good thing for us as well, as a, you are that, you know, you are like a, one different positions and single tunnel having different places <laughs> connected, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. So, so, so now basically see, we really don't want to make it like a forceful or sort of like going into a vote. Yeah. So yes. we really want okay. any one of you to basically take up because yeah, I it's, want to make a poll. So please. Yeah, it's it's like okay. I was discussing with Mukesh yesterday a bit on this topic because we already knew that this is going to be the most difficult thing, barring the other post because this is the post which requires like a stamp and needs to be the person who is in the point of contact, and it has to be from any PSL person. If it wasn't that the case. I would, we will not have this conversation at all because I would have happily taken up that burden. Uh, because I know it's it's bit of a bit of a mess sort of a thing, but it can be handled. And I can assure you that I will help you around for sure. If it's if it needs to be done, like because this time Mukesh did not allow me to do much of this work because he was super enthusiastic and he used to do everything. And I used to always ping him, tell me to do this or no. But he was like, I will take care of it. But if that's the case, which is troubling you, Ayush and Richa, that uh, yeah. you will be just bombarded with a lot of things, rest assured that I will be there to help yeah. you around with whatever it may be. Like being present somewhere, I will be there. So, yeah. so don't, don't feel shy that there will be so much responsibility in that sense. Just we want to keep this association going. And for to keep it going, we need a person to be there. So now it's up to you two guys to basically decide. And as Ayusha has already pointed out, Richa, you 
you actually be a perfect fit in that sense so now it's your call to just make it a yes and i also want to say madam president for a long yeah. time yeah <laughs> yeah i was going i was i wanted to say the end, madam yes. president <laughs> <laughs> only that reason nothing else <laughs> okay so so you're in so that's a yes perfect <laughs> great finally we have a president now yeah madam president congratulations i oh, guess it's are we are, we all are in consensus right i guess you guys yes. agree too yeah yes. okay good good right so yeah we have uh, another vice presidency so uh, arvin maybe you can yeah i don't know what do you think about vice presidency you, you have always you have been there as vice president last year so would you like to continue or would you like to take treasurer because treasurer is also another position which last time president had but both of it but this time i would like to keep it different and treasurer is also very quite a yeah it's a very prominent position yeah i won't mind taking any of those positions it's up to you and i mean yeah. i guess you have already the bank documents with your name na no? oh yeah Yeah, I still have to collect that for bookage. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be easier then. So because as treasurer, it would be there already. So you just have to add Richa and replace Mukesh. Oh yeah, but it's yeah. up to you. I mean, that bureaucracy yeah. part. Yeah. I'm fine taking a both the position if it's required. It's it's totally fine for me. Yeah. I wanted to take vice president. Okay, go ahead. Take it. <laughs> you see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Perfect. So now, then we have a treasurer, uh, an intellectual manager, and yeah. So yes. Um, this is. No, it's. Yeah. Now, now, please. Uh, the new members can also say. Arvind. Uh, Arvind said treasurer or vice. No, president? I guess uh, Prithvi said that he wants to be the vice president. Yeah. So I said, okay, be there. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not what's written on the. Yeah, like, yeah, I was gonna say that. Good, Sorry? good to good to see that the <laughs> president is basically observing things. <laughs> hey, president. Okay, so Arvind is treasurer, and I think Prithvi said he wants to be the vice president. Oh, is it like that? So opposite. Yeah. Yeah, because he, uh, huh. Prithvi openly said that he wants to be the vice president. So I was like, okay, be it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, please. What next? Uh, yeah, yeah. If anyone else would like to go for vice president or treasury, you can you can please say. Just unmute yourself. Do you do you really want to do vote? Then I can put my name for vice president. Say <laughs> then we can go for a vote. If you really want to do that. Yes. Oh, you want to do that? Okay, that let's let's do a vote. That come on, guys. Yeah, I mean it's an election, so let's vote. Democracy. Okay, you... <laughs> let's make a poll. Huh. Not a problem. Okay. Okay, it's for for we can just progress. Maybe uh, Divyan Shu. You can uh yeah express which 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 one you would like to have. Uh yeah, I'm uh not really sure because as I said, I've uh, just joined. so mm-hmm. i don't uh, see myself fitting into uh, any of the of course uh, logistic was one thing within i can fit in uh, i can take that part uh, happily uh, or uh, anything related to sports and things like that uh, can be uh, taken care of otherwise i can be happy with the general members yes yeah. no sports and everything will will be a part of uh, logistic yeah the, uh, yeah i can take yeah. that okay uh, sorry deep uh yeah i mean for me also i think mm-hmm. we'll probably go yeah i'll stick to the communication i mean, i will like, i will be happy to help ayush there if he continues there with the communication because since again since i'm based in sion i probably won't be available for most of the physical um events and stuff and um, i was also interested in in the cultural thing but yeah again i i then backed off thinking that the same thing that since i won't be there physically 
Uh, I'll probably stick. But but I I I was also about to ask Ayush uh, for the for the communication. Like uh, since you you uh, <laughs> since you um, you also working in PSI right? Like for the yes. for, for that thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, a silly question maybe, but but from from a time commitment point of view, uh, what like I know it's completely online uh, this part, but then how how do you organize the communication part like? through your schedule work schedules like how um, much time like is it a weekly thing or like how do you uh, no it was uh, completely event dependent event and, dependent okay mm -hmm. and uh, like the posters for example for the my journey to switzerland series was designed mm -hmm. so what i did you could have seen stick to a template and change the background image every time so once it took me some time to design the first poster but then mm -hmm. every time uh, the once the template was fixed, it was less than like a seven minutes thing to like ah. uh, get the next one ready. So okay. uh, I see. from that way, if uh, if you talk about the overall time commitment, uh, it took me maybe around two hours to design the posters in this entire last year. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was it. And then, uh, okay, out of my own interest, I was there for hosting uh, these uh, series, but uh, this is not your responsibility or you're not obliged to host the, the, the things. If you want to, you can. Or you okay. can find other people okay. who can do it for you. So okay. uh, this is the thing. So if I have to okay. tell you about the overall time I spent on uh, UR-related activities over uh, last year, I would say... <laughs> less than 30 hours in total. Okay. okay. Thanks. I had Thanks. to do this exercise for my appraisal interview, which I had yesterday. So my professor wanted to know which other associations and activities I'm involved in and uh, the number of hours I've spent over last year. So that's why I know this number. Ah, okay. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, maybe maybe what you can do is you can also assist Shreyas and you can maybe take help desk because help desk is one thing which need, which is also sort of a communication thing and which you get a lot of queries from the people from India or from other people. So maybe you and Ayush can take up that position because that would be a very nice position because it, it is more like communicating like uh, interacting with okay. us from the group and telling them okay this is a person joining here or there. Uh, this might be the food related stuff or something like this. So okay. that would be a position uh, which you could take up. Uh, uh, I, I mean, personally, I, I, like, I thought that uh, the communication part, like, uh, would, I think I, I would fit in there better again, because see, like, um, from a health desk point of view, like I attended some of the seminars, you know, like the online seminars for the, for the new PG students. Also there, you know, like, Mm, that there, there, there are things like since many of the students who are joining in actually come in Lausanne so there are I, I realize there are many things which the way Lausanne works again the way Sion doesn't work that way so I think it's best like for the also for website or like for that part yeah. someone who is based in that area I think suits better that's what I felt after attending the seminar so that's why I thought maybe communication uh, part I would go with that. Oh, so this communication, help desk manager and website, they are very kind of interlinked. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the, I, I, the, yeah, but you you can also help with the help desk manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm I'm ready to help with that. I, I I'm just saying I, I I would probably think that they, uh, like someone who is actually based in Lausanne, if he just if he or she is there for the help desk manager like as the main representative then that would be better like i'll be there to help from the other point of view okay okay so but okay. Uh, we don't have anyone because Vishwa, uh you are in uh you, you will be coming back to lausanne or no so i am in saint gallen and i'll complete yeah. my master thesis year only so i won't okay. be back and plus i'll be done in the middle of the year in february so i can't take it for the whole year Okay, so yeah, so we still have that. Yeah, even if you start, then you will still have. Uh, yes, yeah, after you leave, we need someone there as well, right? Yeah, so it's better that we start with someone who's there, and I can I can be there to help. So if 
so aradeep decides that he wants to or if someone decides that he wants to help i can always be there to assist because in general if there, there are many queries which i can also not answer and i just text mukesh that okay this is the question what do you think can be the answer or i text someone who i feel that is the right person so i remember there was one query where someone wanted some information about the geneva campus and i didn't know anything about geneva campus but i knew people who are there so i just connected them with them directly so that that's also a part of the help desk thing so uh, it's 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 all about networking and i think it can so, be done yeah with help desk basically what i think is like you'll get some more credentials to the facebook page facebook group and obviously admin of the whatsapp and whatever and the email as well because the you are the dpfl.ch anyone sends email gets to you so yeah that thing you can take part of and uh, of course you can work with head of communication with also extra credentials like facebook twitter and instagram then you can don't have to be in in, in person like this is actually these two posts are perfect fit for people who are in the satellite campuses also like we don't have to be in person except when there is a uali event or something anyways we are getting together at that point so help desk at that point makes sense in person so mm -hmm. it's fine so if you, if this is what i propose if we take the post of help desk manager vishwa is also there until february and then after that obviously you can take it further i mean it's up to you uh, what do you think yeah okay uh, it's, it's it's fine then i will then be i'm okay to help you yeah I just put it here. So website, I just did this because uh, maybe I'm not sure if uh, anyone would. For now, we can keep it with uh, Richa because she knows like most like ninety percent of the stuff. But uh, over the time, if anyone is continuing, they can take also take up of the website. Yeah, we can. Help Madam that. President built it from the scratch. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I was gonna say that and and. Also, the uh, we we will support the madam president whatever she wants to do. <laughs> we will we will chip in and we will do the work. Maybe I will promote myself for website management. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Finally, Dihar said something. Perfect. So we have some uh, two three posts for general core committee. I will. Okay, uh, what I will name. do is I will shoot some emails to the guys uh, who couldn't make up today. so that the yeah if they agree then we can have them in this in this section and then maybe one uh, online meet richa will organize for all of you and then if you there is there is a reshuffle needed just go for it and okay, sure. all the official documents i will probably submit uh, on 1st of july so i probably need some signatures to do mm -hmm. okay uh, i think karishma uh, wanted to join as a general core committee member uh, she couldn't be here today but yeah I think Mukesh, put your name also in the general co committee, please. Yes, please. Oh, I need. No, a, I need no, 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 no. Uh, you, you are not going to go to run away. Wait, for sure, I'm not running. letting you go, go away. Be here, no, no matter what. So she wants you in our cabinet. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen. Keshan, Akshay, and Vishwa all uh, I mean, should be in the general co committee. We are in the Arvin seat, Arvani seat. So no, wait, uh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I propose a new position, President <laughs> Emeritus. <laughs> wow, that's a nice idea. Nice idea. Yeah, our and president and, 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 visiting and, president. And and, 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 and and I want a referendum on it as my democratic right. So let's have a vote for the new position of president emeritus. I agree. I agree. I still have the veto power, so right. Okay. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Wait. We wait. have the vote after first August. I think. Yes. <laughs> no, after first of July. Even if you're not a student, we can still have it. Okay. As a, as a vice president, um, Prithvi can basically commence a, a meeting and then we can vote. Okay, That's I guess okay. Jishwa, you you'll still be a part of help desk right until February. I wrote your name. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, we will talk to Harshita because I know she's. Write your name, Mukesh. So, I don't. Do I don't need to be a part of this. i can still be a part of this without writing any name so no it's it's for our better view that we see your name in that or make a position and for that uh, it's, 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 it's for the sake of representation you know yeah 
ओके अक्षय बोला था गुड मैं नाउ श्रेयस यू वर सेइंग समथिंग सॉरी या हर्षिता आई गेस वी कैन कांटेक्ट हर बिकॉज़ आई नो दैट शी Uh, and yeah so it's good to have her because then i mean i can give her also if she wants the re- responsibility of cultural and i can help her uh, implementing cultural stuff so uh, it's better to question. have someone so yeah i'll just write down the name so hmm. i will still contact them if they are interested yeah. and, and did uh, we con- did we contact ashwarya for any position did- Yes, I did. I did. Uh, also, yeah. I did it right now also, but she said that she doesn't have time. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So this is more or less the general structure. Uh, we will just have to decide this part. Else, I think everyone is like we have the consensus for this structure. All in the favor, say yeah. I know the people are not uh, super. Yeah. होस्ट नाउ Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, we are open to ideas. I think with easing restrictions, we'll be able to do a lot more of the things that we planned last year and this year. And we have new faces. We'll be able to do a lot of stuff. So looking forward to it. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Keep up with it. Also say bye your beno. Mitra. Yeah, so yeah. I would like to make a remark here. Uh, Mukesh is the outgoing president and I think he had a very he had yes. to manage yeah. the presidency in a very strange time when everything in Yuva had to be done online. Yeah. So I think we should all uh, we should all we should all give him a nice clap yeah. yeah i was i was about to say that nial because i had already prepared some things to say about him like i don't know you would have continued if he had not basically taken up the mantle of being the president last year because it would have been a totally different stuff and it's it's nice that he took up and he has basically been working super hard for it even though we all are chipping in but he is like okay i will take care of it don't worry and stuff like this so yeah. it's nice and it will be nice that he is still around and basically that it's richa and the other members who will join in because there are a lot new members in epfl in union for sure which we really don't have any idea about and one thing which we have already done so far with the last year of uas thing is that we have made it as a popularity sort of a thing where people now know that there is an indian association and the people can come and talk to us the next stage will be to basically get more people in so that they can voluntarily also do work maybe not as part of the committee but still be part of doing some events or some as fun thing which will be the next bigger challenge which the new committee has to take forward and i really thank mukesh for the wonderful one year indeed and i also i have seen two years of yuva and uh, since mukesh has taken uh, presidency it it has been like a lot of uh, you know upliftment in the activities and also uh, a lot of things also he has given us treat in the restaurant to the working committee which is what <laughs> i would say is a really good thing so madam president might also do that <laughs> <laughs> but anyway thank you so much mukesh for taking you at a really significantly higher level and we hope that we would try to continue the same no i one thing i can definitely say about mukesh is that uh, it's his quality that he can make anyone and everyone feel welcome you know mm. i came to switzerland in one of the strangest times and uh, 
I knew practically no one at EPSL. Uh, I had to come here for one of my courses, and but and I did not know anyone. And it was Mukesh who made sure he reached out to me, uh, and uh, he invited me to like meet other people, other members of UA, and uh, I was made to feel welcomed. I uh, really found uh, like a group of friends here, and uh, all I can say that it was because of the proactiveness and uh, his. Uh, open and caring attitude so this is something uh, that i really like about him that he thinks about people without being pushy at all i mean uh, he can insist you he can do things but at no point of time you will feel that uh, he's being pushy or uh, he's just trying to enforce things so this is one quality as a leader i loved in him and uh, i really thank him for this you know so right. it was a pleasure working with you it was a pleasure working with all you guys man huh? it's good i also i want to add just one small thing in the entire thing i mean as i said even last year it happened that uh, like since i was based in sion like there, there was a time i was not even in the uva whatsapp groups i was not even aware of what's happening and what's not happening so i think when this online event started with the with the independence day celebrations i knew that there was something going on with the with the songs being shot and stuff but but i was still hesitant that ya janta the new kisi ko was your point of going there and all and then i didn't even know that mukesh was the president something that so he just texted me personally and then that you come on one sunday and we'll shoot a video and it will be all fine and everything and even even in that that day i didn't know that he was a president but i mean he never like uh, had that feeling or like i am the president or something so he came and he was very friendly and he sent the videos everywhere and then after one week i got to know oh the president came and shot the video for me i'm like okay oh, fine that was so that was really nice and humble of him and uh, that really and as i said that like, made me feel welcome as a part of the of the community here so yeah thank you mukesh it was nice knowing with you it was very funny evening you remember the the song <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i mean yeah, i would also like to say one thing it's like whenever there was work mukesh always said that you if you are busy then you need to tip it off to someone else or just let him know that you cannot do it and that was very important when we were also doing the chess tournament and yeah that that shows that the leader is also thinking about you so thanks yeah i'm always thinking about you <laughs> not in that sense sorry <laughs> yeah i know it, it was really good jokes apart but it was really fun to work with you guys it's a uh, i mean the show must go on right so and what is the role of president what is this and what is that it's just a just a position i mean we put obviously with position you get some power but the power has to be used in a proper way so that you know the power is defined by the the recipients and if the recipients don't get that thing that doesn't make sense like what do you do with that power right so and then to translate that we need very dynamic members and you know the people who are very receptive of it and then and stand you understand the vibe has to be in a proper way which i was fortunate enough that because you guys were there of course i was like not like started for the first time i had more experience like two years before so i knew what what all good strong things we have what all things we are lacking so we were more uh, like focusing on the things that we were lacking so that yes yeah, so i was fortunate enough to have a dynamic team so you know this is just a right moment right people and everything was kind of right except corona but then that was fine i mean you come out more stronger when things like this things push you down so yeah i mean uh, i don't know what to say I, for the new uh, for madam president maybe i will say that just be receptive of people just try to get into their shoes and yeah just try to get just just the vibe and you guys also be receptive of her you know you understand each other more you are more of uh, friends first colleagues then and then you when you are working together among yourselves then you work good for the people so it's all it's all like a translatory you cannot cut off anything like that of course we all are busy it's always we will be there that's why we are here right 
but then of course you always take some time take it take some break use this opportunity to learn something feel that you have something extra that you can give always and then yeah it will all be it will all be falling apart in a correct way so that's what i would like to say and then thank you there are many people who are who couldn't join there are some ex members as well there are um, people who are part of you are and but they are not necessarily you know in the epfl or union they have been living here for for a long time so they know a lot of local stuff they also help us a lot there are many ex members like super ex members like from 10 years ago they have family now and they are still a part of you now once in a while they put you might have seen their posts on the you are you are group there so that's the advantage like you You, you you can leave you are but you are won't leave from you so that's the good thing about you are group i would say so just 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 feel free and then you know have feel good and do do stuff it's all all it will all end up nicely all right now i don't want to bore uh, you guys more i yeah i thank everyone uh, who were with me last year to float the boat and this time we are at the shore now so we take the flight with madam president so yeah congratulations you guys for the new committee and uh, yeah i will be around i am there around so yeah don't do nothing to worry cool yeah if anyone wants to if anyone has any doubt or we can just uh, yeah say goodbye oh i just need to say that okay so we will have kind of a dinner in the evening or semi like some uh, snack or something and before that mukesh can you end the assembly officially please so that the recording oh, can be stopped i think i need to put this so we will all meet in the evening yeah yeah so let let me just stop the recording i i think i cannot stop the recording because madam president you are the host <laughs>